Hello guys and welcome back. We are ready for round number four. So um, I think the game is going to start in one minute or so. So we will get be able to get stuck right into that. So last game we saw TNC Five Peaks able to come out with the clutch win there uh, in that very interesting two on two on two situation in those two buildings right at the end of the final final circle. So uh, unfortunately. Um, uh, it was a difficult situation. I think Tyler was able to make sure that he got the elimination on the R in that particular um, long T. He actually had to try and get out of the building that he was in. Um, but unfortunately, um, CR not able to come out on top in that situation. But it was very, very difficult. But I think TNC 5 Peaks, considering that they were in the same building as uh, CR, um, is a good clutch play from the you're able to come out with Atla. So it does shake up the leaderboard a little bit. You know, uh, I think we did see Frostfire. They did still manage to get uh, sixth position after coming in second and first in the first um, two games, respectively. So we'll have to see whether or not that the points total is enough for them. Uh, of course, this final round is going to be important. So for all these teams that are placed quite high, we might have to or rather we might see a bit more careful play or uh, they might have a lot more mind games in store for this particular match that's going to come up here. So um, we are almost ready. I think all, all the players are in here, just DPT missing uh, one of their players here, but should be there pretty soon. So let's get started in just a But it was interesting to see a very um, urban, urban last few circles. I think it was very much focused around Los Leones for, for quite some time, actually. So quite something, actually, to, to see. As, uh, we don't typically see that on Miramar, given the fact that it's got so, many, so much land mass available, you know, that you won't end up seeing something like that. But it was crazy, as it did also shift Northwest as well, which made it even more difficult. All the teams from the, from the rest of uh, Los Leones had to go there. And even for that very last circle for those two buildings, everyone ra rushed over there. And I think uh, like Mista and that's uh, Frostfire, that's where they met their maker, so to speak, when they got into such a position there. So guys, just as a reminder, um, there will be one more um, Scrim City game uh, or set of games this week. So that will be tomorrow. And the Play of the J will be covering that as well. So uh, it will be the same time as today, eight around 8.30. We'll be kicking off with, uh, I think, the same, if not mistaken, the same uh, map, map schedule. So we will be playing uh, two, two maps on uh, Miramar. Two matches on Miramar and two matches on Erangel. The very first one on Miramar will be TPP as per our the usual uh, schedule that we will see from uh, Scrim City. So we are just loading in right now. So we are ready to get started with this final game of the evening. Running a little bit behind time, but I think it's too, too much of a problem. And uh, hope you guys enjoy these next games. So guys, uh, just as a reminder, the all all of these games that you see here, I will be posting up later on my YouTube channel. All the VODs by by match, just skip out the boring parts uh, if you want, and uh, still catch those good moments if uh, was able to be lucky enough to catch them on the screen as well. So again, if you're enjoying the stream and the content. Please do give the page a, a like or a follow. Uh, it really does help me out. Uh, I really do appreciate it as well. Thank you. Okay, so we are loaded in for the final match of the evening. And we are looking at a very eastern to northwest light path here. So it is really missing out on a lot of the, the southern points of the map here. We can probably see a lot of teams going for... Uh, the northern regions here, I think we saw GeekFam, they typically uh, will be visiting Campo Militar, offers good rotation 
Um, we haven't, we didn't see a team actually dropping Picado, so we have to see whether or not any of these teams actually will pick up on that fact uh, and actually change their strategy a little bit when they come to this this particular circle. Not sure if this is uh, supposed to be there, but well, it's there now. So see how that part goes. I think from the the other flight path, which was uh, I think it was about south. South uh, western point all the way up. Uh, we did see a lot of teams going for a loss there. So we could be expecting quite a different game here. Now, I think we did also see that because of given the nature of the map and the based out buildings here, uh, a lot of teams will actually go for splits or split off individually, especially looking for vehicles. And that's why we see so many road kills actually in this particular um, map compared to say Erringo, as that mad red dash goes for getting like any vehicles possible so yeah we are ready and uh let's get going for this final round so the plane is coming in here now seeing a fair number of teams uh all spread out Heat fam is moving most likely towards Campo Militar. MSK Poseidon, the only team moving south here. Okay, they do have Frostfire as well, which is starting to make their way over here. But it looks as though Impala will be MSK Poseidon's to lose in this particular situation. Uh, Mister opting to go for Minas Generales again. And uh, I think Dog Z, they also went to Cruise the Veil last round. So they seem to be quite comfortable with that. Resurgence, also going somewhere different here. Now, they did go to Los Leones last round. Typically, we see them usually go to, to Picado here, but they're going to duke it out with the, the Raptor voice from India. This particular uh, situation here. And this is Potato Squad, which is very close to uh, Geek Fam. Geek Fam only having three players tonight. Uh, squad number 20 here, L, L Dogs, actually here with Gum Esports. Now, uh, Red Sea going for all the power grid and the nearby areas. Now, Squad 16 does have uh, Snow Templars, but we see Aeon WCS actually able to get the first uh, frag on uh, Raptors here as they are engaging already inside El Azahar. So, so Aeon WCS is still very close. He, he did manage to get some hits, or Brax managed to get some hits on Backtrack. So, Backtrack just trying to lick his wounds a little bit, see what he can find, I think. Still not going to be looted at this stage, you know, to take uh, the best of fights. He's got two of his team members in close proximity, but not too close enough if things go south. Altercation with Aeon WCS. Aeon WCS is trying to creep here along the edge here. Might be able to get the drop on uh, Backtrack if uh, he's not careful. But he had to move inside a little bit, you know, just to not expose himself too much. And the circle is all the way in the south eastern part of the map here so that could be difficult here now Mineski they didn't have a strong round last round they were one of the first teams to go out I think so they'll be trying to look for um, better consistency like how they've been doing in game one game two also they they did face a lot of problems like crossing over to the island here so they do have a, a good share of it they're sharing uh, San Martin with team MBT here at the moment so not too much of an issue. Uh, there is a lot of real estate to be shared in this particular instance. So most of the teams have managed to secure vehicles to go into these uh, further, further reaching parts just to make it better for them to uh, have a good looting phase here. Now, Hacienda is occupied only by DPT, so DPT Deciding to stick together, I think uh, in the last game they were a little bit uh, spread around here, and we do have the first casualty over here in our San Martin uh, battle. So Luvius actually able to get a knock here. Rizom trying to get some good vision on Asmix. Um, still currently inside the multi story, so not exposed too much, but his teammate is on the roof, and uh, it's going to be difficult to get get him up he can't retract himself too easily without facing much fire here but there's an early 
Car 98 from Nobby here as he tries to get those shots on Neski, but he's actually taking a little bit of fire himself. So he just has to be a little bit careful how he manages the situation. Um, time we do see that uh, Resurgence is very much sticking together this um, uh, situation. Backtrack has indeed backed back uh, a little bit towards his teammates, but can't even find uh, some bandages, unfortunately. So, not working out too well for him. Uh, oh, he just managed to find a kit, so it worked in the end. Um, now, we do see that other teams are going to have to start thinking about making the thing. Mista, after having um, Minas and Arales near the start of the flight path, uh, will be making their move soon. Snow Templar are the only ones uh, here, and uh, that is it for uh, MBT. So MBT not able to uh, re-perform no, oh, sorry, it's not. I think the game is not sending the right messages. Yes, uh, MBT did lose a team member here in San Martin, but not the whole whole team. Nobby and Rexon are still up for MBT, so they're going to try and do the best that they can. Um, I think they just want to get as much information as possible on where all these Mineski boys are. And uh, we are starting to see some uh, flashpoints all the way in El Pozo here as um, you see that Revenge was knocked down here uh, from his multi-story. But given the distance involved here, I'm not sure whether or not Gum Esports is going to be able to confirm the kill just yet. Hell Dogs, um, they are very spread out here. Revenge is on his own, so there's little to stop Leo if he uh, decides to move inside the building here. But he is playing it cautiously here, deciding to take advantage of this move closer and move to the fighting arena. Now, other teams are doing their looting phase. Geek Fam is um, still very much in Campo Militar at the moment. Yeah, if can. Uh, Potato Squad, it might make it difficult for any uh, rotation that they want to do, uh, unless they take the, the coastal road here. Um, now, Cruz de Vale is vacated already. We do see that there is rotation coming in from Z Dogs here, um, who are in close proximity as well to the gods here as the gods squad number eight on your screen and uh, they are moving further south here and see whether they can lay claim to any like early spots this round but oh red sea unfortunately not not helping themselves here uh they knocked over one of their team members but uh it should be safe to get get the res up no problem here burning all on his own for Gods as he waits for the rest of his team to come in and Frostfire having a whole of Los Leones to themselves so um, they, they should be feeling pretty good about themselves um, so Gum Esports was able to seal the kill on the, the player from L Dogs. so they chalk up their first kill of the game here as they uh, look to find or get a bit more information as to where the rest of L Dogs are but L Dogs are rotating out already here as the circle is encroaching already in this first phase of the game and uh we already see mbt starting to bug out of uh san martin as well as mineski as well but they only have one vehicle to themselves so they have to be careful that they don't run into um any squads on their rotation phase here geek fam are starting to to gear up and uh, move out of Kempel militar currently there is a little bit of issue if they don't take the coast mode from the potato squad guys but they are also thinking of themselves as they are already starting their rotation now Kado, you already see snow templar are trying to put some pressure on uh some of the teams here circle the rotation coming in from squad 10 under w club so under w club will get through unscathed or relatively unscathed it's, um they look to reconvene here but squad 16 the templar is going to move in Further to the circle as they want to make sure that they are prime position for the circle. Given the position here that there's so much water, the earlier that you get into these spots here, the better. Because you're going to have not, not want to have to face off against all these teams that have uh, tip, set up shop and are able to put fire on you uh, consistently. And make sure that you you don't get to the ideal spots that you want to get to. Uh, CJ able to confirm the kill on pattern a lot, so extends losing 
one of their players early on here. So not the ideal situation, but rotation. Uh, L Dogs is going through TNC five peaks over here, and DJ is strong for uh, X for L Dogs able to confirm the kill on Jatsu here. So Kimbap is also nearby here, as he is also taking fire from uh, Chance. Now Chance. Not able to see him just as he would like, given the fact that he just went inside there. But Mister able to confirm a kill on Baotran all the way in. Uh, oh wow! Then the, there's more rotation here. Aeon WCS coming from Al Azhar, driving right past the the, the Z gods boys here, and his vehicle is smoking. So he has to be careful here. He's running very close, actually, towards. Uh, Crossfire, but it doesn't matter. Momonji able to confirm the kill, and that is it for Aeon WCS. So, resurgence, a man down already. And um, we do see that Mineski is doing what they uh, enjoy doing, which is preventing teams from getting inside the circle here. This time, uh, still putting pressure on to MBT. It seems as they really got it out for them. And uh, but they can't quite add to the kill total just yet, but probably not going to transpire into something disastrous for either team just yet given the pro the distance involved here dj strong and kaiser able to get uh involved here in the fight here with uh, uh five peaks here but five peaks uh also able to uh take out chance ph so lister is uh is up he's in the blue zone as well but uh looking very interesting two players on each side Kaiser and DJ Strong are on this high ground over here as uh, DJ Strong looks to, to press the issue here as he sees Mr. Wick, he is able to get him down but he takes fire from Lester who's uh, positioned very far away and able to give that cover fire but uh, Mr. Wick is in trouble here and uh, Kaiser able to confirm that final kill there and uh, it looks as though TNC 5 peaks will not be able to uh, get the same score that they managed to do so in the previous round. Uh, meanwhile, we do see here that DPT is fighting uh, together with uh, Snow Templar. So Snow Templar uh, really trying to save their team member Kyle going down here. But uh, Mavzi and Pizza After Six are a little bit outnumbered here in this situation here. Um, Eman is coming in here, but I'm not sure what he can do to help. Philip is trying to press the issue. He manages to get another knock on Mavzi, so he chalks up another kill. But Kyle goes down again, or... Oh, my apologies, I think he's still down from before. But Iman able to come up with a flank here. And uh, Kayo just got rest. So uh, Snow Templar up to two here. But not in the best of positions. And we have a hard shift all the way to the uh, eastern side. And uh, really favoring MSK Poseidon here. As they still have uh, Impala to themselves pretty much here. Now, Nesco Scar trying to put fire on the... Full man squad of Gum Esports. Uh, gonna be a very tricky situation uh, as they are a little bit under strength after losing those two players after fighting with DPT. But DPT are also out in this game. So they go out in 19th position after those few exchanges. Now we see GeekFam uh, having made their rotation all the way down here. They have uh, one of their players down, uh, Savior. Has been res though, so they will be up to a relative full strength. Now they are moving up the hill here, but they have to be aware of the presence coming from Dog Z. So Mad Dog is in very close proximity. It's whether or not he can land any shots as he moves up while the Geek Fam guys are trying to uh, get out of here. But Savior able to get the, the knock on him. Um, Without taking too much damage here, so that that will be it for Mad Dog's uh, evening here. Uh, but the rest of his teammates are in the nearby, but they are deciding to move uh, relatively close by. Now things are getting congested here. Mista is uh, making it difficult here, and uh, Paku Paku uh, able to make things really difficult here. And uh, the, there's even a element of uh, team team kill here, so uh, that's unfortunate for. Uh, under W Club as they load in the ball of flames. Now, Resurgence, the last... Uh, the two members here, Quadro and Brax, are trying to uh, take shots at all these rotations that are coming through here. Um, but we do see that finally Z Gods have managed to um, stick together, stay four alive, but 
Red Sea looking to get in on some of the action. They knocked down Quadro in this instance here. And uh, he's a little bit far away. I don't think there's much that Brax could do. Um, even if he does get the, the perfect uh, smoke grenade here. But uh, Papa Zai putting up some long range shots here uh, from the middle of the park here. Now Red Sea do have four people up alive. But um, things are becoming increasingly congested here. Uh, we see Frostfire taking fire. They had uh, Yongwei getting knocked down through their fight with uh, Gum Esports. Now Demon Eater is down here. So they are facing Annihilation if uh, they do not get some good knocks and good shots on onto Gum Esports here. Now Elliot trying to go in for the flank here. He is trying to see exactly where they are. But Demon Eater likely won't be able to be safe here. Uh, but he is relaying as much information as he can as the Gum. Um, guys start to make their way closer here, but Elliot goes down, C2 able to get the knock on him, and uh, looks like Jung under a lot of pressure here, he gets shot in the back by uh, Elio, uh, but Sophia able to knock down, but not able to confirm the kill, and it looks as though Frostfire has gone out in 17th position, guys, so um, depending on how the, the standings go, it could be anyone's game here. Now, MBT looking to, to come back up here soon, but uh, Red Sea really putting the hurt on MBT here. Able to confirm another two kills here. Asmix and Nubi, Nobby going down here. Um, so Red Sea also able to uh, consolidate their force together here after being separated for so long. Now, the circle has shifted down and uh, almost no one is inside the circle here. We still have Team CR. Who are still trying to make their way and Rexon is still out. I'm not sure if he's disconnected or or what here, but it looks as though we have uh, a late rotation coming here right past Potato Squad here. They are trying to put the hurt on here, but uh, Jangs is actually um, caught out by by these guys in their rotation here. So unfortunately, it looks as though that's it for him. His uh, teammates have moved on without him. He actually managed to. Kill himself and, and deny the points there. So good play from him in that sense. But unfortunate Gifam only has two players left up for them. They did start with three guys. So not looking too fantastic here. But that finally looks as though that rotation by uh, Snow Templar met, met its uh, demise there. As they ran right into Mineski. So Mineski going to get that good bonus there from the, the additional loot that uh, to supplement what they already got. And they are facing fire from... Uh, MSK Poseidon here. Now, Gum have um, managed to move on from the, the petrol station over here after taking that fight with Frostfire. They are putting fire on Red Sea. Red Sea are deploying their smokes here. They do have one of their players down. It should, the rest should be successful, but they don't have a lot of good cover here given the position that uh, Team CR is uh, starting to move on them, especially from the high ground here, so it could be... Oh, and Aleo comes up big, able to get two knocks there, and the explosion on the car as well seals the, the kills there. Uh, Papa Zai almost dead here after he takes uh, a lot of damage here, but it seems a true Tom able to spot him, and the Red Sea goes out in 14th position here, but unexpected, able to come up big here by taking out the whole of uh, Team CR as they made their... Their late rotation in here, so unexpected. Coming up big there. Uh, four kills in that exchange. Five total for his team, but there's only two players left alive for Dog Z here. So uh, they're still in a difficult position here. But these teams are generally starting to take losses here. It's MSK Poseidon who uh, have been um, fortunate with the circle so far, and they haven't had to face too many problems just yet. But it seems as though that uh, Squad 18 Extents is facing issues here, uh, really out in the blue. And um, I'm sorry guys, so something about PUBG and Miramar which doesn't like my computer. So I'm going to have to restart the game and we will be back into it soon. But we did see a rotation coming down towards MSK Poseidon there. So that could be quite a difficult situation later on.
But yeah, please bear with me as uh, we are getting back in the game right now. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to watch of the action. Okay, and we are back guys, so again apologies for that. We are back in the game and uh, you can see MSK Poseidon and Mineski are rotating in very close proximity to each other. Uh, Voidless coming out with his M249 uh, and really putting the stop on there. Crescenio goes down at, after trying to take out Luvius. Luvius able to confirm the kill there, but Ace and Ian have gone down after the extensive fire there. So. He and Grizzom are the last players left up, but he manages to knock down uh, Josh on the low ground here. But he in turn gets knocked down by Voidless, so only Grizzom left here. And he has to try and do his best to save the rest of his squad. Josh should be res here, as uh, we do see uh, the smokes come out for Poseidon here. Now, Dog Z here is also uh, moving in here, but the, it seems as though that Gum Esports is really trying to make things difficult for... Brax being the last player left up for um, MSK Poseidon, but it seems as though that uh, Z Gods here is deciding to, to make things difficult for MSK Poseidon here as uh, the res is not successful here and they go to get knocked down in that exchange. Vinny also goes down here and looks as though Gam Esports able to confirm the kill on Resurgence. Now, Connor is trying to get as better, good a view to confirm the kills. Voidless is deciding the bug out there not sure what he can do uh he won't know too much about exactly what the the threat level is as well now dog z is uh trying to get vision on gum but gum is using the natural terrain and the defilades available to them uh to try and rotate in a safe manner inside one of these final circles here now geek fam still has two of their players up here savior and Modi. they have taken uh separate positions on the high ground hopefully to set up good fields of fire here and prevent other teams from advancing too close to them. The, the two players from L Dogs are positioned in the compound, however, and might prevent them from um, making further progress in the next circle. But uh, we're almost at that stage yet. Vinny does finally die to the zone here as O'Connor tries to chase down uh, Voidless here. But Voidless able to finish off... Um, able to finish off uh, the Z Gods uh, teams here, but he is facing problems as he is getting shot at by Mineski. So Mineski able to get, or Grizzom able to get Ace and Ian both off the ground here, and uh, I'm not sure what Voidless can do here. It looks as though he, he's in quite a bit of bother here. There is a lone player from Extents nearby here, but he's going to uh, take his time, and it does look like that's it. Voidless, he's going to rather drown rather than give the kill points or even that M249. So, seems as though Gum has uh, really got their sights set on aiming at the guys from Dog Z. Unexpected goes down, leaving only Knight Sabes up for Dog Z here. Now, he will be able to get the res off most likely, given the fact that they are in hard cover, but it'll be difficult. Now, this last circle. Or one of the last circles is quite central here so it will uh favor mista mista are still four four men up here and really trying to be as um difficult as possible for these other teams that are going to come in here but gum should be able to get in they have a lot of natural cover over there and um, they are also still four men up at the moment i think these are the only two four men up uh squads right now Kaiser. Trying to put finishing touches on Savior, but Savior able to um, get his med off, no problem. Now he is trying to spot where the other player is from Geek Fam. 
Uh, they are acting as gatekeepers here, so Gatefam has to deal with this. Otherwise, they're going to face problems. Mineski can nicely get inside the circle here in this situation. And it looks as though Unexpected really is not having uh, the best of rounds here as he takes uh, a few knocks in quick succession. 10 kills so far from Gum Esports. So they are having a fantastic round here and still having four people up alive here. Nice obvious deciding just to bug it out. He's just leaving Unexpected behind here and um, not sure if he's going to get away. And uh, that is it. Elio able to put the finishing touches on him. So that is it for Dog Z. They go out in seventh position. Uh, and unfortunately, it doesn't look as though that they'll be able to uh, achieve the same kind of placing that they got in the last two days. But um, anything can happen in PUBG after all, right? So Mista here does recognize the threat coming in from Gum Esports here. But they are spread out here. But uh, wow, Paku Paku able to get nice headshot with the SLR on A Leo. So A Leo should be res here, but his helmet almost destroyed, which he doesn't need at this stage in the game. Now, there is not a lot of the way of compounds here. I think we only see that L Dogs actually occupies it together with Mista. There are some scattered buildings here, but nothing too concrete. You know, Geek Fam deciding to rotate all the way down to the south side just to make sure that they can get in. So most of these teams not wanting to move too much until the next circle reveals itself and then they'll all start making their moves. So each one praying that they got the better position coming up inside this circle here. So far, doesn't look as though that there's going to be any danger from these teams going down just yet. And uh, I'm not sure whether or not L Dogs there have been able to detect that Geek Fam has uh, stated all the way that they have done down the hill and around. But now it looks as though it's gone close to the northeastern side of uh, this circle here. And currently no one occupies that at all. So it could be very useful for some of the teams to move in. Mineski should be in a good they, they will be able to get a good spot. This is all very hilly, hilly terrain here. Now, uh, the guys from, from both uh, Gum Esports as well as um, Mista are going to have to see about when to move because uh, arguably Gum has got a better position here given the, the kind of terrain that we do see on display here. They will be able to catch the, the players from Mista coming out of the buildings before they have to actually make a move, or rather the moves by Gum will be barely covered. Now, Krustik, happy to just stay there for extensive play for placement points here. Uh, Geek Fam is moving in. We do see L Dogs starting to round, round themselves up. And uh, Mista is starting to make their moves. They are trying to use this uh, ridge over here to try and get through. Private Dumb, um, what's in here? Uh, but it's a little bit too far away. Uh, he's trying to discourage them from actually advancing too much if that's indeed what they were planning to do. But they are opting to go direct for the circle here. Now, so Krustik is in a ditch all by himself. He's going to stay here and try and secure those placement points. He's still inside the zone, so not too much of an issue. Now, we do see here Mineski also on the slope here as uh, things start to get interesting. There, compared to Erangel, there's a lot of this natural cover that you see here, which uh, does make it a bit more interesting in terms of how the teams posture themselves to fight against each other. But Krustik, unfortunately, getting spotted by Gum Esports, and he will go out. Gum it, with 13 kills so far here. They can get a few more, then they will be getting quite the massive haul just from this one game alone. Now, it seems as though that Geek Fam is currently trying to press the issue here. Modi able to confirm the kill on Kaiser, so leaving DJ Strong all by himself here. And he's able to confirm the headshot on DJ Strong. So he goes out, and that is it for L Dogs in fifth place here. As uh, we do see that Mr. is starting to advance on the, the thinly spread players from Gum here. As uh, Paku Paku gets knocked and the kill confirmed by El Leo. And uh, it looks as though that. They're also fighting with Mineski. Mineski uh, coming out from the low ground here. And Mista is start starting to 
consider whether or not they will advance here and try and take advantage of this pincer movement um through this third party situation so geek fam is still also in the in the the thing swing of things here as ian gets knocked down by c2 on the slr so he has to crawl back right now and uh given the circle here we can likely see gum esports is going to start pushing them down here they won't be able to get ian up here so they are effectively uh in a 2v3 situation here so grizzom is still going to try and go for it here but he doesn't realize the, the advancement from gum here as uh he goes down as he tries to get back into the cover next to his teammate ace here now leo is going to try and push in and press the issue here on uh, ace and he's able to finish off mineski here so gum adding to their total 17 kills so far they are eating everyone for breakfast or shall i say supper in this case and uh mister is still three three men strong here they will probably offer uh biggest competition compared to the two players left up for geek fam so geek fam are probably going to play this um very passively let things develop a bit more before they decide to to do anything all the teams are inside the circle here but there is a lack of cover for mista given that they're up the hill they only have like two big wheels for two of the players here as cover as um these teams are probably not going to move too much for the time being here but uh Modi also uh putting up some shots he spots fire blaster up the hill here but um he's also putting up some blind shots in case the the snaking is ongoing here so gum is having one of their players actually go all the way to one of the Mineski uh, guys, uh, bodies to get some additional supplies to last into the final final circle so geek fam pretty happy to stay stay put there uh but it does look as though savior is a little bit exposed if the gum guys come over the hill here but i think they also don't want to peak too much the event that mr third parties them and uh really turns their game sour real fast so circle is almost done here and we will be able to see where the final or second to last circle will be fire blaster just trying to see what he can on on gum i don't think he wants to peek too much on the other side where fam are and it looks very much in favor of geek fam but the thing is these two teams are going to start converging on this zone here and they could get sandwiched here if they're not too careful so the two stronger teams will have to make a decision about how they're going to um, advance from this particular situation now Wadi also facing some pressure now from Blaster so the, the nades are all coming out here the smokes being deployed by all the teams gum is starting to make their move here um the cover of smoke now they are moving very close to savior so savior should know that the advance is on is coming up here he does have mk14 at his disposal so uh Modi is just holding on the the other flank here he knows that these guys coming up here so not taking the shot just yet uh he finally gets the the down here and confirms the kill he's trying to back up and see wh whether he can get the the heal off just yet whereas we do have modi is trying to get a uh, more defensive position here he does see a little bit of blaster here who's hidden behind the tractor at this moment in time here now the two players of ping pong and private dumb are facing a lot of pressure from gum leo and kids um now it is almost an even situation here if one of the mr players goes down then it's going to be detrimental but they are clumped up together there so if they're not careful Modi is going to get a nice nade and that is going to be it for these guys here but uh not sure whether or not he has she has any nades left uh, but they are all lying prone there they can't do much else there's not a lot of cover there is a little ridge there but by going up the ridge there you would be exposing yourself to the other players here now savior still alive at the at the tree over there as uh he manages to get his heal off after eliminating one of the players from um gum Audi also just trying to scan out for these guys they have five kills to their name and uh this is the final circle so we will have maybe one or two minutes before the the blue zone starts to constrict once more but 
Even this uh, track, uh, truck plus the, the trailer here. Mister does have a little bit of cover, but it's for certain that Gum as well as Geek Fam have got them both in their sights, or rather they know that uh, it's much easier to focus more on them as they try and make their way in this game. Now, Audi is not trying to be um, too adventurous here. He's just trying to spot in case that one of these players decides to, to take a peek here as uh, they're facing a lot of fire themselves here as uh, Savior is actually pulling up the rear here. He could be mistaken for one of the, the gun players at this rate. Um, and uh, Modi is waiting for the right time. If uh, they're able to get a knock there, then it could be the time to go here. But Gum, Leo able to, or rather Kids able to knock down and Modi is coming up big here, getting the flank here. So Mista down to one player left up here. Um, so it's now a two on two on one battle here as Private Dumb just tries to stay alive here. Now Savior knows that there are two players down there. They don't know that they're not being picked up at this point in time. So there's every possibility that they will eventually be picked up here. But Fire Blaster goes down as he gets uh, picked off by Leo. So currently Gam is just staying as prone as they can in that crevasse. Uh, just try and stay alive a little bit longer here. Now Private Dumb is all by himself here. He is just waiting for someone to come over the hill. Now it was unfortunate for uh, Mr. Having. Uh, highest strength here, uh, but unfortunately not able to come up with it. But Mori comes up with a, mo a big clutch kill there, or knock on uh, a Leo by climbing up on the tree of all things. Um, so now Savior is trying to see whether or not he can spot the player here. He's just covered in the grass a little bit here, making it difficult. So even though he's got a clear shot here, it's not it's not going to be super obvious. So now it's a two on one on one situation. Geek fam have got the position and also the number so they could come out with their first chicken dinner of the day um now private dump and kids are staying quiet here um it is going to be a bit difficult to say when they will make their move they're probably going to wait for the circle to constrict no one wants to make that game breaking mistake so everyone's going to posture here until this one minute is up so we'll have to see like right now private dumb is probably going to be have to be the one who moves the first and and face uh pressure here since he's very much on the edge of the circle kids has got a little bit more of uh the hill to work with here before things turn sour but Fam have got a good spread here. They're able to get a lot of angles. So if one of these guys pops up to make any daring moves, then they're going to be in trouble here. But the smoke comes out. It's going to make things interesting for this final move here as uh, we get ready for the final circle to constrict. Body just trying to... Take some pot shots here, see whether or not he can get uh, any lucky shots through any of these uh, blades of grass or wheat here. And uh, there is a circle starting to move in here, so Private Dumb is going to have to uh, make his move soon as well. So Private Dumb is moving in ever so slowly here. He does see Modi here, and uh, he, but Modi able to come up with a great reaction there, and Savior able to take out kids after uh, Modi trades out. So excellent play from right at the end there, clutch play from uh, Geek Fam, and able to take home that chicken dinner. Uh, they did get eight kills and um, managed to survive for most of the game, considering the fact that they only started with three players as well. That was a uh, good play on their behalf. Now, Gum did manage to churn out a ton of kills this round. They managed to get um, 19 kills. I think that's the highest that we've seen for tonight. And uh, Leo, just himself, 11 kills to his name. But unfortunately, he was able to uh, last longer. And Kids was the last person left alive for Gum Esports in that situation. So, um, yeah, he did try to wait until that last moment to knock down uh, Modi, but 
yeah, Savior was able to get the revenge on that one. And in third place, we have Mista able to last long into this game here. They had three kills only, uh, but they did have three players up there before uh, they got annihilated. Uh, and uh, that was unfortunate for them, not able to take advantage of the, the numbers that they had available to them. And uh, in fourth place, we do have Mineski who were able to get five kills to their name and put the hurt, I think, it was on um, MSK Poseidon during the station in there. So uh, there you have it, folks. Um, that is it for tonight's Scrim City uh, games. And uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow for another four matches. So looking forward to having you guys visit the the stream and again again do let me know how you you found the stream whether that you anything to improve and stuff more than happy to listen to if you did enjoy it then please do give a like or a follow to the page it really does help so um yeah that is it to, for tonight guys i will be posting the the vod vod's for all the matches that i will be casting this weekend uh thursday saturday and sunday on my youtube channel so to those ones if you prefer. Um, but yeah, that is about it from me. So yeah, again, uh, this was the PUBG Southeast Asia Scrim City matches for tonight. We'll be back coming back tomorrow. Uh, my name is Jay from Play of the J, and uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow.